I've set up for some accelerated stalls out of uh, 45 degree banks, the Bonanza, just to show that it's not a big deal as long as you keep things coordinated. And that as you remember that the first step in any stall, in indication of a stall or into a stall, is to reduce angle of attack, then worry about your bank angle. So I've got the airplane, I'm slowing down the airplane, we're uh, got the power back at about 15 inches, just a little bit below that. Bleeding off a little bit of airspeed. We'll enter the maneuver at 85, so I'm just going to bleed off some energy as I look for traffic here. Move through 100 knots. Another look over this way. See anybody? Okay. Clear loot. We're going to roll into that 45 degree bank. Hold the nose up here to bleed off some energy. Takes a bit of a tug. Now you can hear the horn starting to go off. I'm going to bleed off the energy here, and then when we get to 85, I'm going to start adding too much back pressure uh, and create a stall. So we're at 90, coming back through, come on. There's the stall warning horn coming on. Now if I increase the back pressure even more, okay, we're going to feel the buffet here. There it is. If I just reduce angle of attack, then I roll my wings level, then add power to recover from the stall. Nothing much happens there, as long as you're coordinated. Okay, so again, we're going to do an accelerated stall, this time out of a right-hand bank, about 45 degrees. We've got the power back about 14, 15 inches. Airspeed's now coming through about 100 knots as I level off. Here. Look for traffic. Now we're slowing down, so we're going to go roll it into that 45-degree bank, keep things coordinated. Keep that nose coming back up now. Bremerton area, traffic, uh, Seneca. There's the buffet, there's the horn. And as we bring it up to the stall, there's the buffet. We reduce angle of attack, get the wings flying, or roll your wings level, no big deal. Then you can recover again. I'm not going to add power this time just so I can roll, send another one to the left. One more time. 45 degrees, a bank. Let the airspeed bleed off. Hold that nose up there. There's the horn. just at the nibble, and now I bring this yoke back. It takes a pretty good tug when you're trimmed up. And there's the buffet. You reduce angle of attack, get the wing flying, roll the wings level, and then recover from the dive. So it's really not a very uh, exciting maneuver, unlike what a lot of people think. You're not going to uh, have a tendency to fall off into a, a spin or have an aggressive nose drop, a wing drop, as long as you are keeping the airplane coordinated. Look at this one at 30 degrees of bank. Just cr keeping the bank angle constant with the aileron, but you're really using the rudder to keep that uh, ball centered. Coming through about 85, now we start to bring the nose up. Lots of back pressure, you can hear the horn start to nibble.